What is going on, all of you growers and smokers out there? Easy Breezy here, coming back for another mushroom video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be revisiting the Uncle Ben Tech. And this video has been requested uh, quite a bit over the, the past year or so. Sorry about that. And uh, I'm just now finally uh, getting back to uh, doing this grow again. So, of course, before we begin, let's... Uh, say that this is all for educational and research purposes only and it's not intended to be used in any illegal manner make sure you check your local laws if you are going to be growing mushrooms make sure what is legal what is illegal this and that you guys know it uh so let's jump into this um so of course the things you're going to need is uncle ben's ready rice whole grain make sure it's whole grain don't get um what is it regular the regular rice um make sure it's whole grain cat don't do it He's being bad lately. Um, anyways, I'm not quite sure what we're going to be growing because I got all these spores here from uh, a few videos ago. Um, actually, on my second channel, I showed the differences between these spores and the spores that I normally get from uh, the normal place. Of course, you can always send me an email if you want to know more about that stuff. So I guess let's go into the first step here. Oh, I also have a uh, scalpel pre-sterilized surgical blade too. Uh, that'll be used for later. Oh, I, got, I forgot one more thing. One more thing, guys. Probably help if we grab some micropore tape too. Alright, so first thing that I always like to do is to break these up because they're... You can look inside here. You can see they're, they're very well packed in. They're really compressed. So we're going to want to break these up. So I'm going to go through... Just kind of gently twist them back and forth. Try to get them as broke up as possible. I'm not going to let you guys sit here and watch this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and break all these up just by kind of going back and forth like that. One thing I forgot to mention too guys. If, it, if you're having a uh, hard time breaking these up. It's a, a good tip to get these really broken up like what you can see here. I kind of, never mind, pause. Uh, anyways. It's, it makes things a lot easier if you just take a little knife like this, go straight up to the top. This one I haven't messed with at all. And give it a little cut. Breaks up almost instantly. After that, then you just go through, cover up that little hole with micropore tape. If you want to go ahead and disinfect it first, you can. Uh, if you don't want to, though, don't even worry about it. Anyways, I'll be back in a second. Alright, now we've gotten these all broken up. It's a good time to take a break. and Grab that energy drink. Of course, you're going to need this. This is essential. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is go down and uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, leave me a comment. Uh, I don't know, saying something. And then once you've done all that, you can proceed into the next step. Which is grabbing your isopropyl alcohol here, cotton swab or something like that, and like we did what a year ago or something like that, we're gonna start going ahead and wiping down the D. Just give the D a good old wipe, and now we're gonna let that air dry. Sometimes I like to get a uh, some of the area around the D too. But that's just me. Now we'll go ahead and get our gloves. Now this is also important. You never want to mix up your uh, isopropyl alcohol with your energy drink. It could be catastrophic. And uh, you might get a little bit of contamination. Just putting that out there. Alright, and now we got to pick out what spores we're going to use. And uh, for me, I just like to kind of reach in there. And I'll show you guys, I guess. Just kind of reach in. One, two. I don't trust these spores, so we're going to go ahead and use two of them. And uh, we're going to kind of do a little bit of an experiment in this video, too. I have a lot of people asking me. Oh, i got to grab my syringes, too, or my needles. A lot of people asking me some questions. What happens if you put two of the spores in the same bag? So, 
uh, I'm going to show you guys what happened. So uh, here we go. It's also a good idea to uh, get a labels around or markers or something like that. So we can label these after. I lost my marker, but I do have these labels here. And it's always a good idea to put the strain, the date you inoculated, and the batch number if you can find it. These ones here do not have a batch number. However, these ones here do. That would be the batch number right there. Yes, cat. Go get your mouse. <laughs> you hear? Hear that sass? So I'm going to go ahead, mix these all up here, and we're going to see what we can do. All right, once you got these all mixed up, we're going to go ahead and open up our needle here. Twist this cap off. Give it a toss. Go ahead, connect it. Twist and pull. There we go. A lot of people um, ask why I don't flame sterilize these. They're already sterile. And if you're in a place that's not, like a location that's not sterile, then, uh, I don't know, it's going to be kind of difficult for you then growing mushrooms, I guess. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and throw this right in the D here. We're going to use, um, I don't know, we'll just start plunging, I guess. Go ahead, moving around. I think we're going to use about three cc's for this. Yeah, we'll use about three cc's here. And we'll use, we'll actually do two in this one here. Or so. Maybe we'll do three, I don't know. And then we'll go ahead and finish up this one here. Like I say, I don't trust these, uh spores that much i don't know how good they are so that's why i'm using a lot obviously if i was using my the regular spores that i do i would be uh only using two per bag but you know how it is anyways let's get this i'm gonna get this all taped up here and i'll join you in a second all right and here we go with the other syringe here we're gonna go ahead of course in the d we go at a downwards angle into the d and we'll go ahead if we can start squirting, can we start squirting? There we go. Throw about three in here. We'll go back into this bag here. This is the one that we had put in uh, previously the two or three cc's in. We'll go back in the same hole. We'll throw in another two cc's here. And we'll see what happens. That's going to be a nice little experiment. And then, of course, we'll finish off this bag here. And now that's all there is to it. Let's throw our cap back on here. And now is the time you'd want to go ahead and label them. Like I say, just the uh, strain batch number. If, you, if it's uh, there, that way, in case there's any problems with the syringe, you can... Uh, have more details about it and uh the date of conception you know what i mean and now for the syringe or for the scalpel here what i like to do with these already pre-sterilized go ahead put it on give it a little cut right on the top right across old uncle ben there I can show you about cutting myself here. It's a little cut, and this is just going to be for aeration. And of course, you can go ahead and cover this all up with the micropore tape again. Leave it in about, uh, uh, my groom is about 78 in there right now, or something like that. I recommend around 75 to, uh, to 85 for a temp. All depends on where you live, the climates, and all that stuff. Anyway, so guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. It's not really much more to discuss. I'm just going to tape all these over. 
And uh, thank you for joining me. So if you like this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on growing, keep on smoking. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.